Spence Jr. is considered one of the best top boxing champions today due to his powerful, aggressive and economical boxing style. Every time the welterweight steps in the ring, he always looks to do some damage and prove why he is pound for pound one of the best. In this boxing analysis breakdown today, I'll be looking at Spence's background, his accomplishments to date and of course his powerful boxing style. So let's get right into it. Earl Spence is currently a unified world welterweight champion and originally from Long Island, New York. Spence had a very strong amateur career winning the famous US National Golden Gloves tournament and also three consecutive US National Amateur Welterweight Championships. These strong performances led to him attending the 2012 Olympics only to fall short in the quarterfinals. And soon after this disappointment, Spence turned professional where he quickly started to make his mark in the division. He has won the IBF welterweight and WBC welterweight title. What is Spence Jr's boxing style? Well, the American has a very effective and economical style which he primarily uses aggressive pressure with the jab to set up his left hand to the head or body. Being a southpaw, he uses this to his advantage against orthodox fighters who tend to struggle. Due to Spence's amateur background, he has very good boxing fundamentals where he can fight on the back foot using his jab to maneuver his opponent. Well, another side of his game is his inside fighting skills, where a lot of fighters struggle to withstand his aggression, bodywork and power. Overall, you could probably argue that Spence is the perfect boxer puncher, combined with elements of a swarmer style. Let's break down this boxing style in finer detail now. The jab. Spence, in my opinion, has one of the heaviest jabs in boxing which he uses beautifully when in the ring. The former Olympian does this by coming in behind his right-handed jab by pushing forward with his feet to apply more pressure on his opponent. Naturally, this helps push back his competitors and allows Spence to set up his powerful left straight or left hook. Another great example of Spence using the jab effectively was against Mikey Garcia where instead of letting the smaller man get inside him, he simply used it for measuring distance and keeping the smaller man at range. The man from Texas is generally considered quite a big welterweight and he uses his size to his advantage. Spence's tactical aggression and pressure. For me, Spence is arguably one of the best fighters today at applying constant pressure on his opponent. He is tremendous at doing this as he understands the amount of distance which is required to put his opponent on their back foot. As I mentioned, the jab is a key weapon for him to apply this pressure. He also has amazing ring generalship. He controls the center of the ring so he can push back his foes to the ropes, giving them no option to waste more energy by either moving or standing toe to toe to fight Spence. Another way Spence applies pressure is by using the shift technique. I recommend you check out my shift video where I go into more detail in terms of how this technique works. Here's an example of Spence using the shift against Mikey Garcia. Here, he can quickly close the distance by setting up a power shot while also throwing it to catch his opponent off guard. Body punching. Spence's body punching is also up there with the best. And once he gets close enough, he tries to get on the inside of his opponent so he can unload some painful body shots on them. If Spence is on the offense and is struggling to hit his opponent's head, he will often use this opportunity to attack the body. As a southpaw versus orthodox, Spence will usually throw the right hook to the body when up close after a follow-up attack. From here, Spence is relentless, forcing his opponent to fight back or get the hell out of the way. In more recent fights, the welterweight champ has invested in punching to the body against better opponents. Opponents. This has also helped result in Spence getting some devastating KOs during his career as his opponents look to protect their body, leaving openings for the head. Counter punching and defense. Now, when most people think of Errol Spence, they don't think of counter punching or defense. This is part of Spence's game, which is truly underrated by many. The most typical counter he likes to do is a step back counter, which can be devastating if his opponents aren't ready for it. The other subtle thing Spence does is his use of footwork. He's brilliant at maintaining and putting enough distance between himself and his competitor, which makes him very difficult to hit. 
His inside defensive work is also fantastic, where he is brilliant at slipping, catching and parrying shots with his gloves and is then able to counter them. I highly recommend you watch Spence's fight with Porter, where we see some of his best work on the inside against a top quality opposition. Final thoughts on Errol Spence, and I truly believe he's one of the greatest boxer punchers of his generation, and I do believe he could wipe out all the other welterweights in the division. If you're an up and coming boxer who wants to use the correct fundamentals, southpaw or orthodox, Spence is a perfect example for you to follow from. Body punching is tremendous and I really recommend you study this in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this boxing style breakdown guys 